welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to do this video for you guys today because it is a back to school makeup look um this is a look that i've been wearing like all the time um very simple uh it's very cute and actually now that i think about it it's just in time for fall as well um so this is a completely drugstore um makeup tutorial so all the products that i will be using today will be drugstore um all the list of products will be listed down below and yeah so anyways we're gonna get right into go ahead in with my nyx angel veil um skin perfecting primer and now i love this primer because i use i use it all the time i mean when i got it this is what i always used um so we're gonna just go ahead right into it it's very smooth it does the job so yeah this is what i'm gonna use as my primer all right so now that we have our faced faced <laughs> our faced face um prime we're gonna go ahead in with my favorite um drugstore foundation um which is the true match lumi cushion by l'oreal this foundations everything like i love it so much like i don't even know what to tell you guys um so obviously it's like a cushion Duh. and i'm in the color what color am i n 5.5 um these pretty much run a little bit close to the lumi the true match lumis the true match lumi um not true match me the true match um foundation and this is what's old school like this is what i always use this was my ride or die um like foundation like i always used it and i never had any issues with it um and i was n 5.5 i was n5 i would actually use two different shades uh now that i think about it yeah so i'd use n 5.5 and 5 those were my shades that i use like all the time so they pretty much run true to the size not size um shade <laughs> so anyways we're just gonna go ahead right into it i'm having a brain fart like for me so we're gonna go in with my trusty dusty morphe 439 um these are affordable products as well so I'm not using any very high-end brushes. Morphe is very affordable when it comes to brushes. And honestly, like 99% of the time, I'm using Morphe brushes. There's a small percent there's a small percentage where I will be using Sigma brushes as well. But most of the time my ride or die brushes are Morphe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this a little bit with my Smashbox Prime ugh, Smashbox Primer Water. I cannot talk to it. And we're just gonna go right into this like that, okay? And then we're just gonna go ahead and put it in right here. And the thing that I like about this foundation, which is also very good for back to school, is it's not heavy. It's even though it is doable it's not heavy and it's not going to make you look cakey and i think it's perfect for an everyday sort of um look especially if you're gonna go to school um because it's most important like back in school i didn't wear makeup until i was like in college um nowadays like a lot of kids uh wear makeup you know now in high school and it's like I mean, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, I wasn't even like that in high school, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, like, you know, makeup is something that everyone loves to do. So at your own cost, you know, do makeup. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. Um, but in no way am I condoning that, you know, you have to wear makeup. No, it's up to you. Everyone is beautiful with and without makeup. Um so definitely you know don't wear makeup if you don't have to if you don't have to and you don't want to don't have to don't feel like 
to fit in and everything like that that you have to do that you really don't um you know like I didn't even wear like a full set base of makeup until like college like I was saying um so yeah I think this is good I like that I'm not like a very I'm not like this is good for me <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead with my concealer and we're gonna go ahead and use I'm gonna go ahead and use my Maybelline master conceal which this is definitely like my best um my best like drugstore foundation and I'm also going to use the Dream Lumi right here, the Dream Lumi pen as my illuminator, mix it together. This is like a dupe for me on a MAC Prep and Prime highlighter pen. You could use the Dream Lumi. It's exactly the same and it does the work. Um, and I believe the Master Conceal is also a dupe for the mac um pro long wear like concealer it is very full coverage that is for sure um but it's very lightweight so i'm using the color 20 which is a uh, light which is light that's pretty interesting and i'm gonna apply this with my um you know beauty band beauty blender because this is definitely like my up right up my alley oh that might be a lot so we're just going to go ahead and dot this like that. Okay. And then go ahead and dot it. Sort of in like a triangular. Um, you know? Like that. Okay. I don't like to apply the concealer um, all the way up there. I will build my way up there because I don't want a lot of product up there. Um, the rest of this, I'm going to add it here. I do feel like you can, the only downside of that you have to work, um, kind of fast with this stuff, but we're good. It works, and it looks amazing. Now you see how high coverage that concealer is for a drugstore? Like, this is probably, like, the best concealer out there for the drugstore. Okay, so we're just gonna just like that all right and then so for my setting powder I'm gonna use the air spun translucent extra coverage powder um this is also a drugstore product um if you can't afford you know or you don't want to spend that extra buck to get the what do you call it Laura Mercier translucent powder this is also a very good alternative so we're just gonna go ahead and pack that on it does smell like old people for some reason. It's very, very highly scented. But, I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much. I don't mind. It does the work. Um, so, just putting that out there for anyone who might go out and buy that. If you're not bothered by smells, then this will be good. If not... Um, another alternative is the NYX Banana Powder. It comes in a compact. That is amazing. Like, mine, I've hit pan already on that thing. Alright, so I went ahead and just added that. Whew. It's very messy. Um, I went ahead and added that to all the places where my concealer is. We're going to go ahead right into... Um, the eyebrows um and i'm going with my trusty De my trusty desi color pop um eyeliners brow pencils um i've been using these like non-stop these are a favorite of mine and the two colors that i use is dope taupe and banging bronze those are my favorite so we're gonna go ahead and do that okay okay we're just gonna go ahead and Fill them in. I've been really liking the whole feathery light sort of situation. And what I like to do is um, I like to do my ends with the dark shade, which is banging brunette. And then in the front, I would I like to use um, I like to use dope. Just like that. See, 
a lot of pro little goes a long way okay and I don't like I said I don't like to use a lot of product so we're just gonna go ahead with that like this like that okay just like that okay um oh and then a perfect drugstore gel that I like to use um my favorite drugstore brow gel is by Milani so we're just gonna go ahead and um brush those in just the way they are like I need to get another one this is like already empty but um we're good all right perfect so we're good there I'm gonna go ahead with our um brush this is the 403 and 403 and we're just gonna go ahead and dust that off like that So onto the eyes. Eyes, very simple. You only need two products and a blending brush. I swear, guys. So um, for my base, I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And we're going to go ahead and apply that pretty much all over the eye, concentrating it on the base. Because I have done it multiple times, that it definitely looks better with... Um, with that so I'm gonna go in with my M505 and we're just gonna blend it up so after that we're gonna go in with the star of the show which is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Bad Girl Bronze which is number three and that is what I'm gonna add to here so I'm just starting off with covering my whole eye and then blending out and if I realize that I need more product and I want to intensify it, then I will go ahead and do that. Because it's definitely better to start out slow than, you know, going in ham. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in with my M433. No, this is not my M433. Um... This is the, well, we can go with that. We're going to go in with the 441 um, from Morphe. And we're just going to go ahead and blend the edges. So as you can see, I am starting from the base. And I'm bringing up product as well. And then blending it out. So it kind of looks like a smoky eye. But it's very light, so it's not... It's not nothing crazy for sure. Alright, see how it's blended? Don't be afraid. Make sure you blend it out really well. You don't want any harsh lines. That's for sure. Okay, so see it's really blended on this eye. Now I feel that I want to add a little more product on the base. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some more. And then I'm not going to blend as hard because I want the bronze intensity. So I'm just going to pat it and then blend a little, very little at the edge. Because I don't want to like that, okay? Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and we'll be right back. Alright, so I finished the other eye as you can see. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and continue on with the rest of the face and then we'll go ahead. So with the Damp Beauty Blender, what I'm actually going to use for my bronzer, which I actually discovered this. <clears throat> and I actually really like this duo. So I'm going to go in with the Dream Bronze BB Cream um, by Maybelline. So I'm just going to apply a little bit right here. Alright. And this is in 10, which is light, medium bronze. So I do think that I might want a darker shade after using this. But with a beauty blender, I'm just going to apply it here like that. Okay. It's a very subtle 
but it looks really good once you set it with the powder. I've actually been really loving this look a lot. All right, so after after you've blended out your um, bronze BB cream, we're gonna go in with our bronzer, which is the Rimmel Natural Bronze in Sun Glow, which is 025. And we're gonna go in with my favorite bronzer brush, which is the Morphe MB5. So we're just gonna swirl that in and tap, swirl again and tap, and then we're just gonna. So that pretty much for my drugstore bronzer. So for my highlight, we're gonna go in with the color icon wet and wild um it says it's a bronzer but it's actually a highlighter and it was a dupe for something i don't remember i went on like a i went through a phase and i found a lot of dupes for certain things um and then i bought them and that's what i did so yeah it's all on my pinterest as well um so i'll put that link down below as well my nose is itching so this is reserve your cabana by um wet and wild i know it doesn't look like a highlighter but once you put it on it sets it looks amazing that's for sure so we're gonna go ahead in with the morphe 510 brush which is like a small um fluff brush like that i love this for highlight so we're just gonna go ahead and tap it in okay because it is very powdery but i'm just gonna go ahead and tap it in and we're gonna go ahead and add that on here like that i have um since i was out of the country for so long and i didn't get to buy any recent so but i did manage i did want this video to be all drugstore so we're making it happen do you see the highlight this is exactly what i'm trying to say like it's it's amazing for um it's amazing for drugstore highlight that's for sure Alright, so I always like, like I said, I always like to put my highlighter first. So now we're going to go in with our blush. And this is hands down my favorite, like, ride or die drugstore blush. Luminoso by the Milani. So we're going to go ahead in with the E20, no, E4, okay. And we're just going to go ahead and just that. And we're going to go ahead and sandwich that in basically like this. very light-handed it has a beautiful everyday color and i like to bring it up because it gives you i like to put my brush my blush back because like this because it gives that cheek lift um so yeah all right so that is pretty much it lightly with this i'm just gonna go ahead and blend everything in okay so while that is done we're gonna go ahead and get into the lip but before i do that i'm gonna go back in with the air spun and we're just gonna clean up under here like that okay just because i feel like i may have gotten a little out of hand and we're just gonna clean that up so yeah all right so for the lip i'm going in with my favorite combo and this is going to be the nyx peekaboo neutral and this is the maybelline touch of spice um i think this is a matte is it i'm not sure yes it is the matte lipsticks that they have so i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips All right, so now that we've lined the lips, we're going to go ahead in with the lipstick, which is Touch of Spice. I just... I love this color. This color is just perfect for every day. It reminds me as a dupe for Whirl the world lipstick maybe by mac i'm not sure but yeah so we're just gonna go so now we're gonna go ahead and put on the mascara and these are my two favorite drugstore mascaras and this one is voluminous million lashes excess by l'oreal and this is the maybelline lash sensational 
So we're gonna go ahead and go in with both because I'm extra and I love extra. Um, I love extra mascara. This is an awkward pose for the camera. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna add some eyeliner. And I love this one, which is the NYX Tris Jolie um, eyeliner, and it's a twisty one. This is my favorite drugstore black eyeliner. And we're just... Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so that pretty much concludes, I think. We're just gonna go ahead and with a um, with a pencil brush, you can use any pencil brush. This one is the first one that I grabbed, which was the Sigma E30. So I'm just gonna go very lightly with that. I'm just gonna add a little highlight to the inner corner, very subtle. So this pretty much concludes this pretty much concludes my drugstore um, back to school makeup look. Very simple, very bright. Uh, I'm just in love with this look because this is the look that I've been doing every day, like all the time. It's so simple, quick in the middle, just get it done. Um, once you get into the gist of everything, it, it won't even take you that much time in the morning. Like literally, you just slap, 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 and you're done. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this look as much as I did. Um, everything will be down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to join my family um, to see a lot more videos to come. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and ideas down below in the comment box. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for this video. I had so much fun um, doing this drugstore back to school makeup look. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the look. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you guys.